Hey everyone out there. I want to take this time to actually do a little review of this LED light that I received off of Amazon. Uh, it's called the Aquanite. It's made by Hippogero. Uh, it has Cree LEDs in it. Now it states that it's for Marine Reef and that it can grow SPS and everything like that under it. So I have a CNI and I want to check as far as the PAR goes. I know a lot of people are probably curious about it. I am too because uh, everyone claims this and that but you don't know until you really put it to the test. So and this is the light that I plan on using, if all goes well, for uh, Rico's Nano Challenge of 2018. So I figure if I can do this uh, and definitely check everything to see if I can use it, or if maybe I'm going to have to look elsewhere. So let's take a couple ratings and put it to the test. This is also a Nuvo 10 uh, gallon. Uh, it's the Nuvo Fusion 10. So we'll see how it is at the various steps of the tank. Okay, now this is with the blues on 100%, dead center of the tank, and it looks like we're getting a par of 101, 102. That's not bad just for having the blues on. Uh, the, the whites are turned off, and uh, on this we have two, three, four, five Cree blue LEDs, and we have one ultraviolet. You might be able to see it. the camera's picking up the, exactly what it looks like with the reflection right there. But that's not bad at all. That's definitely great for the bottom of a tank. So I have it shielded also on the back side so that no light's interfering with it from my tank at all. Uh, and that's, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to do a couple other tests and we're going to see. I'm going to turn the whites on now and test it from there. All right, now I have the blues up to 100% and I also have the whites up to 100%. Um, center of the tank all the way at the bottom. And this is the Nouveau Fusion 10. And just give me a reading of 186, which is not bad at all. And it's actually not bad as far as the spectrum. Uh, I didn't have any corals underneath this, obviously, just yet, so I don't get to see how they are underneath here. But at both of them 100%, that's pretty nice. Now, I'm going to try again. I'm going to drop the white down a little bit just to make it more pleasing to the eye to see how it'll look with a little blue, make it around 12K, 13K maybe. And we'll end up seeing what we get from there. And then I'll do a couple testing. Actually, you know what? I'll have it at 100%. I'm actually going to raise it all the way up to the top. Pretty much right here where I would have my SPS and everything. And kind of see what we're getting right here. As you can see how it's mounted. And getting about 296. 300. That's, that's pretty good. That's actually really good. So for a $60 light you know and the spectrum change and the, everything like that um, I definitely think this is actually a worthwhile light for a nano tank um, longevity I couldn't tell you obviously I you know I, I just got it but it's always nice to know par levels and stuff this is both at 100% so I mean even if I drop it down let me turn it a little bit make sure it's there you know 220 with 90 it's fluctuating right now because I keep on it's hard to keep it still but uh so far, it's not bad. I mean, I'm covering the eye, get a zero reading. All right, and then let it out now. We'll see what it goes up to. There you go, 250, 60, 238. That's not bad for center of tank for pretty much almost on top. Just below the surface, literally just below the surface. It's like that. Actually getting 308, 297, that's not, that's really, really good. Obviously, you're not going to have something right there. You probably have it a couple inches below the surface. It's pretty good. I'm actually going to check one of the corners. Let's check the bottom corner right back here. We'll see actually how it is as far as the spread of the light goes. They're supposed to be 90 degree on there as far as deflectors go. 86. It's not bad. I mean, you know, for par, it's not bad at all. I mean, if you look on Tidal Garden's website, you know, they consider 30 and below, low level par, and then uh, I think it's up to 100 or something uh, as far as medium. I'm probably wrong on exact ones, but it's still above, you know, I mean, you can still put some Aikens under there and stuff like that, and some brain corals would be good. Um, it's not bad at all. And then halfway up, again, off to this, you know, we'll go on the back wall. Tails on the back wall. 160 so now you're getting up to a little higher par range which is perfect I mean definitely put some hammers some frog spawn stuff like that on there should do pretty well all with a $60 light you know it has a great sliding arm and everything in the back you can adjust it everything in the back just like this 
you know, it looks pretty good. Like I said, just longevity, you know. But as far as the build, it's pretty nice, you know. It's really nice. Oh, all right, guys. Let me uh, turn this off for a sec, and then uh, maybe get some more readings on the levels I want to keep it at. We'll see where we're at. All right, this is uh, the whites are set down uh, eight clicks uh, from full. Uh, there's actually a plus and minus on the very top of this. If you guys end up getting this light, you'll see. And uh, so far, I actually tested it. And let me end up putting it uh, real quick. Let's do a little thing. Hold on. There we go. little countdown. This is done on the very bottom now. Nine, 99, round about. 90, still 90s. It's still good for the very bottom. Figured it's going to be up a little higher once I put some sand in there. It's not bad at all. Hmm. Now, so the blues are 100% and down 7, 8 clicks for the white. And I'm still getting that. So that's, that's pretty good. Let me uh, see if I can mosey on over. It's a little hard doing this single handling here. Let's see if I mosey over to top. We'll see what we got here. 210, 214, 229. Still good. It's definitely not, not bad at all. Like I said, for a $60 light, you really gonna complain about that? I wouldn't. Look at the spectrum too. It's pretty nice. Huh. Well, I think I am going to go with this light after all then for the nano tank challenge. All right. So if you guys ever see it, you know, on Amazon, if you're searching for it, you know, it's the Aqua Knight and uh, Hippogero A029 LED light. So, so far I'm impressed with it. I actually really am. Especially for a 10 gallon, you know, nano tank. It's actually really good. All right, guys, the video is probably getting a little long, but uh, I hope that you guys, you know, find it interesting. Let's see. You know, find it interesting or a little, uh, you know, informed now on this light. All right, guys. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to see you around. Thanks for watching the video. Talk to you later.